Welcome to Yachting World's Heavy Weather Seamanship Series, produced in association with Pantaneous Yacht Insurance. Your dinghy is a vital part of your yacht's inventory. She's a link to the shore. Skip Novak is going to talk about equipping and handling a suitable dinghy for heavy weather sailing. And he's going to describe how to make a beach landing in rough conditions. Your dinghy is your all important connection to the shore to see these amazing places in remote areas around the world. Very important. There's various different theories on what type of dinghy. You've got the hard dinghies, which a lot of people like because you can row them against a wind by yourself. Uh, other people like rigid inflatables. Um, both those cases imply that they've got to be stowed on deck. You can't actually get them down below, obviously. We prefer a, a dinghy that's fully deflatable. Break the whole thing down, it goes down below. And in this case, we've got two of these things. You've got to have two of everything, of course, down here. We've got two Bombard uh, 3.8 meters Bombard C3s. Equally important are the contents of the dinghy. What do you actually carry uh, for every trip ashore in these remote areas? We've got uh, oars, a couple paddles here. We've got a bag with an anchor and uh, a line and also a, a pump in case you have a deflation problem. And then we've got what we call the dinghy kit. It's a waterproof plastic box with a whole bunch of interesting stuff in here in case you get stranded or have a problem. We've got orange smoke flare. We've got a repair kit, pieces of rubber and glue. Communications, a VHF radio with some alkaline batteries, uh, not the rechargeable ones, but fresh. Spark plug, spark plug here, spare park, spark plug and a uh, tool kit to pull the plugs and a few tools. We've got uh, fire starters and matches, some red parachute flares, a knife, flashlight and separate batteries. Not in the flashlight, you want to have them separate so they're going to be fresh. And there you have it. Okay, we're going to hoist this thing up and get it over the side now. Very important to have the bow line attached to the boat. In high winds, the bow will tend to sky up and you want to have somebody like me holding the bow down. Jonathan's going to push it out over the side and try to control, control the whole thing so it doesn't blow all over the place. And of course, when you, everything you want to have, everything prepared in the dinghy, all your dinghy kit, your, your anchor, your oars, your paddles, fuel tank, everything inside before you go up over the deck and in the water. You don't want to be handing things down, especially if it's a rough sea. Of course, we keep our dinghy uh, stowed uh, and launched from the foredeck on this boat. Uh, the alternative is, is davits aft, of course. Um, I don't like davits for down here uh, or any rough weather sailing. Boats get washed away off the stern quite frequently. And it's vitally important when you're in heavy weather and you're anchored and you're deploying a dinghy in a seaway, jumping up and down, and you do it from the side of the boat, not from the stern. The problem is a dinghy can get stuck under the stern counter and punch a hole in it or injure somebody. So you got to all, all your operations from the side of the boat, bow line on, stern line on, everybody in and then go like that. And we're just going to land here now on a, uh, a remote beach. I'm wearing waders. A lot of these beach landings are rocky. Uh, you bottom out with the engine, so you've got to possibly jump ashore. So waders are really useful. And if it's really severe conditions, you want to put on a one-piece survival suit and just jump in and pull the dinghy up like that. That's the safest way to go. Okay, we're coming into land here. Now, one important thing is, is always try to go upwind from the boat and then go along the shore to land. If there's a problem with the outboard, you'll drift back down on top of the boat. Same going back in, back to the boat. You always want to be upwind. Here we go. To, uh, Jonathan, if you throw the bow line when we touch down, we shut down. Just hold us in. Okay. Great. Okay, Lane, if you just grab the shore barrel here. Now the shore barrel is an interesting bit of kit. If we're going into a remote area, we make a habit of taking that with us, leaving it on shore while people are on shore. And what's in there, it depends on where you are in the tropics or the high latitudes. We've got a t uh, tent, food, fuel, pyrotechnics, communication, uh, VHF radio, 
in case there's a stranding situation, like the dinghy can't get back to the boat or the boat has to go off station at anchor, come back in, there's a weather problem, etc. You want to be able to have shelter, food, and hot food. Very fundamental in places like Antarctica and Tierra del Fuego. It's not the case today, it's quite common here, but if this was a big surf landing, sometimes you do have to come in in surf conditions. You'd want to turn the boat around, bow out, because if you went stern out, that you'd be flooding the boat, be full of water. So we want to try to shove the boat straight out. I may even hot up the engine dry for about 10, 15 seconds. So when you do get out there, one pull and you're away. So guys, let's shove her out. Okay, let's get it floating. You guys hop in, I got my hip boots and we're off.